Introducing Atoms by Baby Audio, an advanced physical modeling synthesizer with an intuitive user experience. Atoms is a new type of synthesizer that uses cutting-edge physical modeling techniques to create organic yet otherworldly timbres. In this video I will show you how to use Atoms to build eerie and unearthly textures that are buzzing with life. Physical modeling is an advanced form of synthesis that simulates how sound occurs in the natural world. But with Atoms we went supernatural. We created a complex mass spring network, a living organism of interconnected resonant bodies in constant motion, a vibrating instrument that generates atmospheric and organic tones based on the laws of physics. You can think of it as a combination of springs like a slinky and masses that you can excite with a bowl. Atom's intuitive controls invite you to bend, shape and mangle their physical properties to create sounds the world has never heard. While Atoms is a highly complex and flexible instrument, we packed it with superb presets and added a smart randomization panel that delivers fresh musical results with every click. So whether you're in the mood for instant results or deep sound design exploration, Atoms does the trick. The circular screen in the center of the plugin provides visual feedback on the sound engine. Atom's six main parameters are arranged around it and let you shape the behavior of the mass spring network. With the motion drop-down menus, you can assign modulation sources that constantly move and evolve Atom's parameters and let patches come to life. In the bottom panel, the sound can be further refined with global parameters. Presets can be managed as usual in the middle of the top bar. Press the MPE button on the top right to activate MIDI polyphonic expression. In MPE mode, Atoms registers polyphonic aftertouch and MPE is available as a modulation source in the motion menus. Switch between mono and polyphonic mode with up to 8 voices. With the tuning fork, you can detune the global tuning by plus minus 50 cents. Echo mode deactivates the resource-hungry chaos parameter to reduce the CPU load. The tooltips provide helpful information about each parameter when you hover over it. If things get out of hand, hit the panic button to stop the sound engine immediately. Choose between the dark and light color scheme with the last button on the top and resize the plugin by dragging the lower right corner. Atom's patch randomizer lets you quickly experiment with new sounds. Click the magic dice icon to musically randomize the parameters. As you can hear, Atom's randomizer is not entirely random, but programmed to always yield musically interesting results. The recycle button next to it generates a variation of the existing sound, which sounds close, but slightly different. This is great for iterating on a preset you enjoy and listening to it in different versions until you find the perfect sound. You can exclude individual parameters with the lock button. Locked parameters remain unchanged when you randomize a new sound or variation. While in the lock menu, you can adjust the ring control around each knob to set a specific range for parameter randomization. Press the undo button to undo the last action. Chaos introduces nonlinear behavior in the mass spring interaction system. If you turn this control up, the virtual springs expand, contract, and push against each other. This adds pitch glides and detunes the sound, giving it an increasingly unstable character. Atoms' mass spring networks gradually lose high-frequency energy as they decay, a physical process known as damping. When you increase order, the springs will have greater damping, which will act like a low-pass filter. A 
a mass spring interaction model needs a source of energy to generate sound through vibration. In atoms, it's a virtual bow. The force parameter controls the pressure of the bow on the springs, adding noisiness and sharper harmonics from increased friction as you turn it up. The overtones parameter controls the position of Atom's virtual bow along the mass spring network. Turn it up to bow closer to the boundary, producing bright overtones like those of a violin bowed close to the bridge. Drive adds harmonic clipping with a wave shaping function that brings out the complex harmonics Atoms creates. Use the classic low pass filter with an optional resonance boost for tone shaping or automate it with the LFO for filter sweeps or Wawa effects. You can further refine the sound of the instrument with the global controls in the bottom panel. Change the octave range of the instrument with root. Choose from four distinct profiles that modify the physical properties of the spring mass network to create unique sound characters. Standard is the default configuration with a maximum of 100 simulated masses. Alternative retains all masses but varies the mass distribution and spring stiffness for a different timbre. Inharmonic profile limits the maximum amount of the simulated masses to 50, resulting in a rougher sound. And finally, Lo-Fi cuts the number of masses down to 25, for even grittier, unpolished textures. Attack sets the onset time of the instrument. Use short settings for a snappy strike and longer settings for a smooth swell. Release controls the decay of the sound, from short and crisp to epically long. As we learned earlier, Atoms simulates a network of springs and weights that is excited by a bow. Movement controls the depth and speed of the bowing. Use the left half of the movement control to set how far the bow moves back and forth. Use the right half of the slider to control the speed at which the bow moves across the springs. Press the chain icon below the knob to sync the speed to the host tempo. The modulation knob varies the position of the virtual pickup on the mass spring network. You can think of it as a microphone sitting on the spring that you can wiggle back and forth, creating a chorus-like effect. Control the distance of the pickup movement with the left half of the knob and set the speed of the movement with the right half. Vibrato varies the stiffness of the springs, resulting in a pitch vibrato. As with the previous two controls, set the depth with the left and the speed with the right part of the knob and sync it with the chain icon. Note that movement, modulation and vibrato are not audio effects, but actually alter the physical properties of the mass spring network and its interaction with the bow. As a result, they can have very different effects on the sound depending on the selected profile. Space is an easy to use reverb that adds ambience and space to the sound. The x-axis controls the mix level. The further you move the slider from left to right, the more reverb is added to the dry signal. The y-axis controls the size of the reverb. 
move the slider down for small rooms with a short reverb time and up for large reverb tails. Output finally controls the output volume of the plugin. Each of the six main parameters of Atoms has an integrated motion generator with which it can be modulated. Click on the color button to open the automation menu. Here you can choose from various modulation sources. Sine, a smooth sine wave, LFO. Saw, a ramping sawtooth LFO. and Drift, which delivers semi-random bipolar modulation and is also based on a mass spring model. At lower levels, it adds motion and variation to the sound, creating a dynamic and alive effect, similar to playing a real-world instrument. When you increase drift, the network stability decreases and it becomes less predictable. When MPE is activated, it is available as a modulation source as well. In MPE mode, the parameter is modulated per note with polyphonic aftertouch pressure. When you activate a modulation source, two dots connected by a line appear on the outer edge of the parameter controller. Use these to set the modulation range. Drag the lower point to the lowest value to which the parameter should be modulated and the upper point to the highest value. When you change the parameter setting, the modulation range moves along accordingly. Control the modulation speed with the vertical slider in the motion menu. Click on the chain icon to sync the speed to the host tempo. Note that sync is not available for drift. Click the arrow icon to invert the direction of the automation sweep. The letter icon on the right lets you choose between three distinct LFO modes. F stands for free. Here the LFO runs independently and is not reset when a new note is struck. R stands for re-trigger. In this mode, the LFR restarts with each note. Use retrigger mode with the drift modulation at low speeds to create a sample and hold like effect. This is great for creating bubbling electro bass lines, for example. H stands for hold. This mode also retriggers the modulation with each note, but it holds after one cycle, so it behaves like an envelope. The circle icon allows you to copy and paste the motion settings of one parameter to another. Press and hold the circle, move the mouse to another parameter and release it. Note that this doesn't mean that one parameter modulates the other. It's just a quick way to transfer the settings. This concludes our Atoms tutorial. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it helps you get the most out of your new plugin. Thanks for watching and see you soon.